Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Wednesday the 13th of March 2019. So starting off in the daily chart, we can see that the pound had a, a volatile day yesterday. We'll look at this in more detail in just a moment. But staying with the bigger picture, we can see that uh, from this high here down to this low here and projected uh, back up, we should see uh, a 76% retracement uh, in this area. And this is where the pound traded to. 132.559 and then reversed and moved lower. Still above the 200 bar moving average at the moment and the 76% retracement. The psychological level of 130 is very important for the pound. And if we look at the intraday, you can see that uh, we were sideways as the pound waited for the debate on uh, May's a second go at uh, the uh, European deal and then all of a sudden we see the pound drop and the reason for this was uh, the UK Attorney General said uh, no legal means of exiting backstop uh, unilaterally and this uh, sent uh, the pound moving to the downside through the 200 bar moving average uh, volume started to build more or less the same as the previous bar but the range was less the selling disappeared and the market made its way back through the 200 bar moving average and then back up towards the DP level, which it traded sideways. And then in the evening, we see that uh, we had the vote. And of course, the vote uh, was uh, disastrous for May, losing by 149 seats. And these are the options that we have going forward. As I said before, we don't really do politics, but it will be interesting to see and note these dates for your diary if you trade the pound because uh, they are important uh, dates. So basically we've got uh, a vote on a no deal today. If uh, that goes through then we leave on the 29th and if it fails to go through then a vote tomorrow on delaying Brexit extending article 50 and if that fails and the EU don't allow it, then we still leave on the 29th. If this uh, passes, then the PM will need to request an extension from the EU, and that's going to be interesting given that they've given a no leeway with anything uh, thus far. So uh, these are the possibilities, and uh, we'll see. But uh, at the moment, all roads are leading to, uh, to this one. So it's important to keep these dates in mind and brilliant to, to have it uh, shown there in a flow chart uh, because it makes it a lot easier to understand what's uh, going on if you're of a, a visual uh, personality like myself. So they had the vote, the market reversed uh, straight back to where it was, uh, didn't make a fat lot of difference because I think it was a foregone conclusion that it was going to be an unmitigated disaster. And uh, yeah, let's see what happens today. That will be... Uh, debate all day today and then this evening on the no vote. It'll be a bit of a shocker if they do actually vote to leave without a deal. I very much doubt it. Probably be the reverse of what we saw last night. In the news today, outside of this, we've got the annual budget release. This is out at 12.30. And uh, then over to the US, you've got the PPI uh, to be released at 12.30 as we've uh, got an hour difference at the moment. Cool durable goods orders as well at uh, 12.30 for the US. I mean, the markets aren't really going to be interested in any of these, but I thought I'd just uh, highlight those uh, at the moment. So they're only interested in the unemployment figures, and we saw what they did with those on uh, Friday as well, when it was a massive drop in the US, only 20,000 jobs created and not the 220,000 they had forecast. Uh, the Dow went up. So uh, again, the market's not really taking any notice of news, but it's worth just having a quick look to see what is actually going on. Yesterday, the Dow moved lower, and uh, overnight we are through the 76% retracement that we've had drawn in from here to here. And yeah, let's see how it copes with the 200 bar moving average if it moves lower once more, but certainly uh, still showing this weakness at the moment. There is a sort of a, a downtrend in place there. And uh, from this side to there, there is a, a bit of an uptrend. So if this is broken, watch the 200 bar moving average. Inside the detail of yesterday, not uh, too much happening. The market uh, moved lower initially, then tested, moved back, uh, went through 
the uh, high to the left there and then reversed and then we've got a, a retracement there and then down um, another retracement and down and just stuck in a sideways range and it's not uncommon for Tuesdays to trade like this as I've said uh, many times before it needs uh, more news uh, to get this market moving higher and you can see overnight uh, prices are sideways to lower there Meanwhile, in Bitcoin land, uh, nothing happened in the market, getting into a very tight uh, sideways range uh, once more. Nothing else to report there. OK, that will uh, do for this one. Keep an eye out uh, for the pound tonight. If you are trading it uh, after hours, um, interesting to see how this vote comes out. But I would say that uh, it's going to be a straightforward that uh, they would refuse to leave without uh, a deal. That would be my uh, guess. But who knows? The world's gone mad and uh, anything can happen okay that will do it uh, for this one if there is anything to report i will let you know but otherwise as ever thanks for watching see you in the next one